I've never done a burnout and I don't know how to do a burnout. How long do I hold it down? As long as you want. Do I press it all the way to the ground? So, you might be wondering why is she eating a cookie? Well, next on the, uh, the memory reunion tour for Uncle Rob is my mom. Hey, and, I'm mom. And she showed up with a plate of cookies. As always. <laughs> you would recognize me if I didn't have a plate of cookies. Did you ever drive this thing around whenever dad had it? Um, not driving it so much as I'm sure that the passenger seat will fit my rump perfectly because I sat so many hours in that seat that I'm sure it's all me. You, I remember many hours it'd be you two and then the dogs would be on top of all of the gear in the back seat. I have the cutest picture of Roxy and Sparky with their little heads right from the back seat. Of this thing? Yep. You want to see something cool? Yes, I want to see something cool. What on earth? Why did you put that in there? I didn't. <laughs> Valerie did. How do you know? Because those are her stickers. <laughs> that has to she, be. <laughs> she remembers them. I totally get that. That's hilarious. What is that hole for? Spare tire. That's the spare tire crank hole. <laughs> so she must have been... Despite being a total blonde, I don't know why how that can be a spare tire. What are we doing with a spare tire? They like put like a metal thing and you just like spin it and it like... Spins the tire down. That's how you oh, lower the spare tire. The tire's up underneath. Yeah. I did not know this. Yeah, that's I'll not. See if I had ever gotten oh, flat, I would just call AAA. Okay. So Good. It would have mattered. <laughs> oh my goodness! I didn't even know what that was for. That's funny. And all of these are from your road rally thing. Yeah, that's race week. You had to put those on there. I just haven't taken them off yet. Very cool. Did you tell me you found glass too? Yeah, broken glass. Do you want to tell that story? Well, I was home with the kids, and Daddy was traveling. And at the time, this was back in the old days when you didn't really have like phones that did everything. So he had a PDA and he had a work phone. And I think the PDA was his work, no, his PDA was his work phone and then he had a home phone. That's what it was. So I got a phone call at four o'clock in the morning from the PDA. And I'm like, holy crap, what's going on? So I get the phone, you know, I'm thinking he's dying. Why would he call me at four o'clock in the morning? And I hear nothing but a little rattling and some breathing. And I'm like, holy crap, Dave, 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 no answer. And I'm thinking he's like dead on the side of the road or something, I'm freaking out. So I get out of the, get out of bed and I go get my other phone to, which had his, anyway, I call his other phone and he answers. And I'm like, what's the matter? He goes, what do you mean? What's the matter? You called me freaking me out at four in the morning. <laughs> like, no, you called me at four in the morning. And he's like, I'm sleeping. I said, well, your, your PDA just called me. And he goes, PDA's in the car. Wait a minute. He goes, he looks out the window. He comes back and he goes, smash and grab. They broke the windows out of the truck. We, uh, this is the bag of artifacts. There's some broken glass in there, a golf tee, a sword. Those are pegs from, um, um, you sunk my battleship. Oh, we, we were wondering what those were. <laughs> Do we have to stay on the sun? I'm roasting. Come over here. It's 9,000 degrees. Yeah, those are, you sunk my battleship game. Pieces. Do you did we ever play that in the back seat you driving had a places? Version of it, of course you did. Okay, well now that's that's why we kept that because we didn't know what it was, and now we know. That's what it is. Here. Wait, wait, let me pull off. Check oil level. It's fine. Brake is still on. Light at least. Yeah, that is always on. Okay. I was on when I got it. Why are we dinging? Because there's got a million lights on. Okay. When does it stop dinging? Do you move your seat around or anything? No, I'm good. It's still like where it was before. Okay. Service four wheel drive. Doesn't matter. You put, the, you put your window down and get some okay. air flow because I still haven't fixed the okay. AC okay. for race week yet, which I'm regretting. It needs to be done. Oh dear, look. Oh my good. Oh my gosh, another baby. Look at that. A baby or baby. Aww. Well, we don't want to do anything that scares them. You're not good. You don't want to do it here anyway. Okay.
Are you excited to drive it? Yes, I am. I haven't driven it yet. I've never driven it actually, even like when we had it before, because I could never drive one of those like our family car. So it's impossible to not like this thing. Everybody who drives this is just like it is so fun. It's not even that incredibly fast either. Like it's probably just as fast as your car is, but it's it's, it's the thrust. Yeah, it's just that, different because that's that, coming out of this thing with woo! this view yeah. and the seat being all squishy and stuff is just like it's just something different.
like fast. it was probably about the same. But this, this feels fast because it's so uh, you're off the ground. It throws you back. It makes all kinds it, of noise. The throw you back part. I just am like <laughs> launching into the back seat. It's awesome. Okay, I'll, I'll drive that one. Why that did was you very think? Very fun. I actually really liked it. It looked like you had a lot of fun. I did. I liked the uh, the part. I wasn't such a fan of was when it started when we started from the stop and yeah. went fast and it kind of like got yeah. loosey goosey. That freaked me out a little bit, but it's fun. I, I, it's it really like you were enjoying much it. better in the driver's seat. I got to say it's a lot more fun when you're driving because it's, it's very scary when somebody else is losing it. But the, the, from the stopped thing to starting it, that's when I got a loosey goosey that freaked me out. Cool. I don't know that I highly recommend that because that you might you can like end up in somebody's front porch. All right. So you're on deck to see. All right, don't kill anybody because you got my two favorite people in there. Okay. I've never driven this before. No, you were not anywhere close to being able to even pretend to drive it. <laughs> Was this the car that you like sat on Daddy's lap in and drove down the neighborhood? Maybe. I may have done it in this. I remember doing it in the one before this though too. What was the one before this? 195. The one oh. that looks like my white one. Yeah, well I feel like I did donuts in that truck 
and driven the Escalade and stuff, I feel like I actually have more experience with powerful big cars than small cars. Two, two, two. Yes, that's true. It's two, 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 yeah. Because my car is small, but it's not like it's that powerful. Oh, your car went, what, like 14.4 or 14.3? Yeah. Quarter mile? Yeah, absolutely. She's actually raced before? Yes, I drag raced my car. Leave a comment if you want to do a video on CC. Yeah, she really wants to have her car be on a t-shirt. Yes, for completely selfish reasons, and I'm not afraid to admit that. <laughs> <laughs> I really like how it's that... It's the, uh, the ambient turbo sounds. Yes, the air is very airy and like... I like it too, because factory turbo vehicles don't really do that. Yeah. They do a little bit, but not like a, an aftermarket big turbo car does. Laura. It's gonna start to go sideways, and then you'll be like, ah, really? and then you'll stop. Really? It's gonna start going sideways. I mean, it wants. To, I mean, the wheels are trying to push, and the run is stopping, so it's gonna want to go. You know. Okay. You just hold it straight, and if it starts to like you're driving in snow, except it's louder. Okay. 
service ride control. I don't have to worry about that. No, it's fine. Anything about there? Okay. No, it's all good. So put it. Okay, yeah. Brake we'll, thingies on. Does that mean? That's fine. It's okay. not always on. Put it in. Put it all the way down to one. I said transmission hot again, but screw it. You're only gonna do a little one. Okay. Thank One you. more burnout on transmission hot never hurt anybody, right? What? We can go for a. I was making ride. a joke. It's fine. No, it, just do it. Okay. Well, how long do I hold it down? As long as you want. Do I press it all the way to the ground? The brakes. Yeah, the, the the gas. gas. Or yeah. Just a little bit. Should I put on a little? Would you what? N upcoming oh, service preview. Oh my God! I He's want so one. Cute. That is adorable. Oh my God! That's fantastic. You just gonna do a burnout, or do you want to spin it around? I just want to do a burnout first. Okay. We'll just. Hold it and then floor it until it it'll be fine. Okay. We're gonna shut it off right after this. Okay, so just ready? do your thing. <laughs> I can see you're looking at the mirror, seeing the tires going, what am I doing? <laughs> Anytime you want. Okay. This wow. is a visual representation of the transmission right now. Oh yeah. Whew. In there, go. Cool. It doesn't say anything about hot now. Oh, you cooled it off. Oh, oh no, no, it does. It's, no, it's, it's still hot. Okay. We're fine. Can we go for a coolie drive. Uh, yeah, or we could just shut it off. Okay. Like drive it back down there, and okay. you Sorry. have to put it back in park first. Sorry. Yeah. Well, we'll park it in the shade down there. Well, that was fun. I know that posse unit is working good. I could drift that thing. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna have to drift it. You're shaking, man. Sure. <laughs> we break something? Does it smell like roasted nuts? It smells hot in there. Can you smell? Nuts? Can you smell how hot it is? Yeah, it smells like melting things. <laughs> melting plastic. Is that what it is? Yeah. Will we break anything? Nope. I thought once you like got it going and then you stopped, I thought you were gonna chicken out. But then I saw you look in the mirror and you go, what am I doing? <laughs> and then you just went. <laughs> I couldn't tell if I was supposed to put my gas on or the brake or what was the deal. So I got the hang of it. I have to do another one before, cause then I'll, now I kind of got the hang of it. I can do it. It's a good it, job. Mm -hmm. Very scary. Definitely feel the adrenaline rush for sure. Are your knees shaky? No, my my hands are feeling. I feel twitchy, like I had too much caffeine. <laughs> that's that, kind of what it that, is. That's what the feeling is. That's yeah. that's the feeling that cool. when you drive a fast car and it does that, and then you want more of it. That's that's the essence of the yeah. drug of all of this. Okay, I I think I understand. That's what I said when we were getting out of the car. I said, so this is. I get this. This is kind of like that after the roller coaster feeling. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Except you don't have to wait in line to do it. And you can hop on your roller coaster and drive at productive places throughout the day. And Not that I would do it. Would my car do that? Burning out thing? No, you have all-wheel drive. Oh. So it has to be two-wheel drive? Yeah. This is four-wheel drive. Yes? But I put it in two-wheel drive. Oh, that's it's selectable. you climbed under the car? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, it smells hot. Poor thing. Yeah, I guess All uh, I wanted to do was take kids and puppies to grandma's house and now look what they did to me. <laughs> was Uncle George ever going to get turboed? Um, I don't think Uncle George will get a turbo. It'll, do, it'll either get a supercharger or nitrous, but it's already going to... The engine for Uncle George makes 200 more horsepower than this with no boost or anything else. Really? Yeah, it's just an engine. Just the plain old engine makes 840 horsepower. Wow. She would be even more scared of the noise it makes. Yeah, because that thing is going to sound like a freaking uh, grave digger. It's oh. going to sound like grave digger. <laughs> there is not a red blooded American that would not <laughs> hop in this thing and think, damn it, I want one. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> that is the truth. This is it's just so suburban mom. You can't believe it does all that. Yeah, this thing, it's so simple too. 
That's a Force Performance 7275 Turbo. It's like $900. Um, that's Boosted Boy Kyle's old intercooler that was probably $50 new when he bought it 16 cars ago. Well, you were underneath doing stuff. What did you do underneath it? We had to change the transmission. Cause? Because the stock one, it sucks. Okay. It blew up uh, for five times you floor it, it'll melt. That's just, they all do that. So it's got a okay. 480 in it, which is from like a 2500 well, heavy duty truck. Why was it saying it was hot then? Because it was hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It was hot. The transmission cooler is down here, and I never got around to putting a fan on it. So if we're not moving, it's not cooling. Makes sense. I, I, I thought get it in the shade. And this engine is not touched at all. This is how the engine came. This is the same thing that. Took me to football practice, to vacation, all no that stuff. Kidding. It just has the turbo slapped on it and it just does that. Wow. That's crazy. When really, I can't believe it can it's that um durable. You'd think it'd be blowing up. You, you would know? think. <laughs> That's why these things are so popular, because you can do that. By the way, she's wearing the Elvis shirt. Yeah. You can find that at stablesandautoworks.com along with the shirt I am wearing and the version of this shirt that has Uncle Rob on it. Link is in the description and pinned in the comments. What'd you think? I liked it. Isn't it fun? Yeah. I like it a lot. <laughs> I know. I told him I haven't driven anything fast because he hasn't been around, so I haven't done that. Yeah. Long. Do you want to tell them what you just said about four minutes ago? We were pulling in here. I said after the last time I floored, I was like, "Oh, this brings a relief to my body, like I haven't had in such a long time." Oh, God. And then he goes, that's what she said. Oh. <laughs> He's like, Uncle Rob brings a relief to your body. And I was like, oh my God. No. Of course she did. <laughs> Uncle Rob brings a relief to her body that she hasn't had in a long so time. That is so gross. That is gross. That's some Arkansas shit. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's funny to give vehicles people names. Yes. Especially family members. Yes. <laughs> Whenever I like was was skidding, he, he, I freaked him out. He was uh, like, "Do you know that you, like the back wheels are, are going out?" I'm like, "Yes." <laughs> we were going like 50, and it's just starting to go like this. I'm like, "It's spinning," and she's like, "I know." <laughs> like, well, do you know we're gonna be pointing at this field in about a hundred more feet? I'm just like, I'm just looking out for the common interest of my life <laughs> and the farmer's field. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. I'm like, okay, my two favorite people are in there. Let's not break anyone. It's so I'm like, I got it control. Let's yes, you relax. Do. I've got this. And all I gotta do is take your foot off the, the gas. <laughs> no, it's very fun. I can see why you like it so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you for letting us enjoy ourselves. You're welcome. I had fun. It's very cool. It's it's the family vehicle, and now it's come full circle to provide joy for the family for again every family yes. member we got that's every right. single one that's beautiful what were your thoughts watching her do that i was nervous <laughs> <laughs> if i'm being honest yeah i thought she was gonna go a lot harder than she did though i thought she were really just gonna like you know when she started the the rubber we, we were getting nervous but you stopped so i was like okay it could have gone on for a lot longer and we would yeah. have panicked but you were doing you stopped in an adequate time to not scare us. That cat is really nice. It's Mr. Forbes' cat. Water? Does anybody feed it? Yeah, it's Deke's cat. Oh. She's pretty thick. I think she eats a lot. So your final conclusion, you like driving this more than my Escalade with a supercharger. Yes, I do. Yep. I've never driven this Escalade. No. I drove it once. I like the turbo. I think I'm just favorable to turbos. What's the difference? The noise. What's it mean? The noise. I think you probably like that better. And the boost comes in at a different time, and I'm more used to that because my car has a turbo. So. Okay. So what does my car have? Here's his turbo. Turbo? Yeah, you can hear the blow off valve. Okay. It like makes a little whistle sound, and you let off the gas, and it goes. Psh. Okay. You never heard that before? Probably didn't know what I was listening to. I have to pay attention. <laughs> when I pulled out. Driving that thing, I'm like, wow, this thing, like, it actually has a pretty aggressive blow off valve. Like, really? It, yeah. Whenever you accelerate and it makes boost, let off the gas quickly and it'll go. Psh. Really? Uh huh. Well, just like this does. Did you hear this do that? Yes. Yeah. Brake situation. Do you have to have special brakes for this because it's so big and heavy, or is this standard brakes? However much you feel comfortable trusting your life with. Hmm. There, so have you changed? You changed the brakes? It has better pads and rotors on it and it helped a lot. The brakes on this thing were so bad before that it was like just just terrible. Aww. But well, it's way better now. You it still seemed like you could stop. I mean, I you just have to press on the pedal. Because sometimes those are hard to stop even when they're normal, you uh -huh. know, just because of the way that they're so heavy. You have all the guts in there still? I didn't I don't remember looking. The back seats out. are out for because for packing for space. Okay. But yeah, it's like it still weighs fifty eight hundred pounds. 
That's cool. What did this do with the track? Um, it went 13.0 at elevation, so it would run high 12s, which would be the same as the Cayenne or the S550. And the Escalade does on under 10? The Escalade does low 9s. So that means it goes from 0 to 154 miles an hour in under 9.5 seconds. That's unbelievable. And it goes from 0 to 122 in 6 flat. That's that's amazing. So the reason that went so much faster than this is because it has a bigger engine, more turbos, like bigger turbos and more of them. Okay. So the Did bigger you engine. Two of those in your the other one. Yeah, and they're okay. bigger than that. Okay. And that is a 427. So that the Escalade's engine without turbos will make 600 something horsepower. So when you add turbos to that, it's exponential. Because if you gets to like a thousand. Yeah, if it's if you run 14.7 pounds of boost, that's double atmospheric pressure because the normal base pressure here is 14.7, whatever. Okay. So you double that, theoretically, you double the output of the engine because it's getting twice the air that it used to get. Okay. So if you double the output of a 300 horsepower engine like this one, mm -hmm. you have 600 horsepower. If you take a 600 horsepower engine, 14 pounds of boost into that, theoretically, you have 1,200. Gotcha. Okay. I didn't know if you'd rip the whole engine out and put something else in it. Yeah, you it did. has an aftermarket block. Okay. So nothing on the engine came from GM. Okay. This is exactly how it came from GM. This is the same engine that like went on vacation and stuff. And it's <laughs> That's crazy. So cool. Isn't that crazy? Oh, yes. What a second life for no this thing. No kidding. Yeah, it, now it's going to oh, be around boy, forever. You can tell. Yeah. Because even if the frame rots out, we can just take the body off and put it on a non-rusty frame. No. Oh. If you thought this was interesting, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you already are, double check to make sure you actually are, because sometimes you think you are and you're not, and YouTube shows you stuff anyway. So do that. Leave a comment if you want to see more of these kinds of videos. Now that my entire family has driven this thing, we can uh, maybe see other people. If you haven't seen it already, go check out the other video on my channel. I'll link it to the end of this one right up here, where uh, my dad and the real Uncle Rob drive this thing and do burnouts and stuff they uh they were interesting in their own way because they both daily drove this thing for a hundred thousand miles a piece and this is the first time they ever drove it with a turbo so if you haven't seen that yet go check it out if you have seen it go watch something else i posted because i don't want you to go watch someone else's videos because you should stay here yeah now it's raining anything else you want to add i want to redo my burnout base <laughs> We could, we could do that. We'll get you some tires just for that. But I didn't get to go a good one because your mom was scared. <laughs> I didn't want to make her like be your pants or something. Yeah. We will get a dedicated set of burnout tires for Logan. And you can do burnouts until they pop. How about that? Yay. I'm excited. All right. So subscribe for that because that will come up soon too. I remember taking this to Virginia Beach. I tell a Virginia Beach story. <laughs> What's that? We had, we bought donuts and you were little and in the back seat and having something of a meltdown. So I climbed into the back seat <laughs> to help you. And you know, it's captain's chair so I can get in the back pretty easily, but I'm tall. So it's a little bit of legs everywhere and just trying to get in the back seat. So I get you settled down and the donuts that I was holding were now in the seat that I was sitting in, right? <laughs> so I go, get you situated and I go to get back in the front seat and I had to kind of do it butt first because I couldn't throttle myself through the thing. So I go and I'm scooching myself back into the seat and um, as I start to allow gravity to let me sit in the seat, Dave goes, don't sit on the donuts. <laughs> and I'm like, well move the donuts. I'm in midair, I can't stop now. <laughs> So I flew down and crushed the whole box of donuts. <laughs> and he's mad at me. And I'm like, I got a kid screaming in the back seat. I'm just trying to get back where I belong. You could have moved them. It would have been helpful. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. But we ate them anyway. Wasn't this the one that Max jumped out of and tore his ACL? I think it is. Is it? Yeah. He opened it because he'd open his yep. cage would be right back here. Yes. And he'd open it and then he jumped off. And it had to be because he wasn't. Yeah, it had to be. Yeah. Yeah, he, he jumped out in grandma's and landed back. I didn't know he had that. That's funny. <laughs> Suck it on there. Yeah. Um, That's supposed to be the plus of the good wrench. Oh, is it? Oh, oh I get it. Yeah. Very cute. 
I didn't have a Stapleton Auto Works shirt. I just have my saw. I had to wait for that to get out of the dryer too. Um, yeah, so he bounced out of the driveway and immediately started hopping on one foot and that was the end of it, man. He was on a downward spiral after that. Yeah, for Max was the family dog. Yorkie. From, he's a little Yorkie from before I was born until I was in like third grade. Yep. But you wanna see something cool? Yes, I wanna see something cool.